Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss something in Jailbreaking that was somewhat overlooked when Taiji released their all-new Untethered Jailbreak for iOS 8.1.2, and that's the new 8.2 beta firmware. So in today's video, I'm going to highlight the all-new update as well as go over the changes, the features, and how it compares against the current public firmware, again, being iOS 8.1.2. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Safari. But before I get into what I wanted to discuss in today's video, I wanted to state that if you happen to miss my recent untethered iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak coverage, either my tutorial or my update video, then just be sure to check out my channel. If you're on the main page for this video, you can find a direct link to my YouTube channel down below next to my channel name or at youtube.com forward slash iCrack your iDevice. Also, regardless of which firmware you're on, whether it's iOS 8.0, 8.1, 8.1, or again 8.1.2, you can find jailbreak tutorials on my channel. So just be sure to check there if you have yet to. And with that said, let's go ahead and switch over to today's news, iOS 8.2. So does it affect jailbreaking? Will it be able to be jailbroken once it's released to the general public? And which features does Beta 2 include over its predecessor? So let's go ahead and get started. But first, if you guys are interested in the complete change log for iOS 8.2 Beta 2, then just be sure to check out the article that I have linked to down below in the more info on best tech info. And with that said, let's go ahead and switch on over here. So yesterday on the heels of the latest Taiji 1.2.0 update to fully jailbreak 8.1.2 untethered, Apple seeded the second beta iteration of iOS 8.2 being 8.2 beta 2 to those officially enrolled in the company's iOS developer program. Now the update is available for immediate download via one of two ways, either through Apple's developer center or as an over the air update through the settings app for those developers currently running 8.2 beta Beta 1. Moreover, the latest 8.2 beta carries a slightly revised build number over its predecessor of 12D445D versus 12D463. And in light of the minor jump in build numbers, one can instantly make the assumption that 8.2 beta 2 offers little in the way of improvements over the first beta iteration of 8.2. However, by contrast, iOS 8.1.2 is associated with the build number of 12B. 440, which would seem to suggest significant revisions and additional features. However, it's interesting to note that even in its second beta form, iOS 8.2 has yet to introduce much beyond the latest public firmware and seemingly lacks any significant additions. However, as with iOS 8.2 beta 1, there is at this point one rather substantial reason that iOS 8.2 beta firmware set is even in existence this soon before its release. Apple Watch integration. Now, like with 8.2 Beta 1, the new Beta 2 build is accompanied by an updated Xcode 6.2 Beta 2 download for developers, which includes WatchKit integration, which is Apple's software development kit, or SDK for short, for the forthcoming Apple Watch. And no, this isn't an Apple Watch, this is just a Pebble Steel smartwatch, but it is a pretty good representation. So in other words, with iOS 8.2 and beta stages, iOS developers keen on creating new Apple Watch apps are able to do so utilizing both the new version of Xcode as well as iOS 8.2, which will include Apple Watch support for the iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus by the time the firmware is issued to the general public. But what about jailbreaking? Now that both iOS 8.1.1 and 8.1.2 are fully jailbroken by way of Taiji, will the tool be capable of jailbreaking 8.2 on Tethered? Before we get into that, that, let's loop back to iOS 8.2 beta 2 and its features. So as previously mentioned, there's no questioning that Apple Watch integration will be the primary focus in iOS 8.2. However, in light of that fact, various aspects of 8.2 are bound to change prior to the firmware's inevitable release, which again is sometime in quote early 2015 according to Apple. So it's possible that Apple may roll additional features into iOS 8.2 before the availability of the public version. So when looking at the release notes, iOS 8.2 beta 2 includes the following remedies over its predecessor. It rectifies bugs that cause the keyboard to not appear properly in Safari, Maps, and certain third-party apps when in the 
iOS simulator, and it adds Siri support for Singapore English. Moreover, several fixes for WatchKit have reportedly been bundled into iOS 8.2 Beta 2 as well, including correcting bugs that cause notifications to fail to open for a specific app, certain WatchKit apps to fail to open in the iOS 8 simulator, and more. Now, although iOS 8.2 is certainly unappealing at the moment and likely wouldn't entice any jailbreaker on iOS 8 through 8.1.2 to make the leap to the beta firmware, developers looking to enter the Apple Watch app arena may have a slightly different outlook on Apple's latest iOS software. But with that said, all those who are currently jailbroken on iOS 8 through 8.1.x and are curious as to whether 8.2 addresses anything beyond what specifically outlined in the beta's release notes should definitely avoid the latest beta update. Now, while it's too early to state for certain, it's likely that the jailbreak for 8.1.2 won't function on 8.2, as Taiji stated that their tool is intended to hold jailbreakers over until 8.2's release, which is roughly interpreted from the Chinese transcript. But what about when iOS 8.2 and the Apple Watch arrive in the hands of the public? Thankfully, the future of jailbreaking is actually looking incredibly bright. So to give you guys a summary and breakdown of how incredibly lucky we've been this time around, since iOS 8.0 patched Pangu's first untethered jailbreak for 7.1.2 in September, it only took the team approximately one month to issue their new iOS 8 jailbreak once 8.1 was available. Additionally, ensuing the release of 8.1.1, the firmware that patched Pangu's iOS 8 jailbreak, the new Taiji team quickly picked up the slack and issued a new utility to jailbreak 8.1.1 and thanks to a series of updates, iOS 8.1.2, the latest public firmware. Now finally, Taiji stated that the team also plans on having quote surprises for the jailbreak community and quote every subsequent iOS 8 release and that the team already has additional vulnerabilities that Apple isn't aware of and has yet to patch in 8.2 beta that the team plans on exploiting once iOS 8.2 two drops in quote early 2015. So at this point, while it's safe to assume that there will be an iOS 8.2 jailbreak, definitely avoid updating to any of the beta releases, as well as the version that will eventually find its way to the public until we know for a certain and until a tool is in fact released. Now, for those of you who are running iOS 8 through 8.1.2, I definitely recommend following my all new untethered jailbreak tutorial. It's extremely fast, convenient, and simple when utilizing Taiji version 1.2.0. I hope you guys liked this video, definitely letting you guys know about the latest beta firmware being iOS 8.2 beta 2, and in comparison to iOS 8.1.2, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, again, remember 8.2 doesn't offer any Anything, at least right now. That could definitely change in the future. Apple may roll additional features into iOS 8.2. And of course, once the Apple Watch drops in early 2015, and of course, so many jailbreakers who are interested in the Apple Watch will undoubtedly update to iOS 8.2. And hopefully Taiji can deliver on their promise of providing surprises in every subsequent iOS release. And of course, I will keep you guys completely covered along the way as the situation develops. So if you have yet to subscribe to my channel you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And with that said, if this video helped you and you guys found the information in it useful, be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And if you guys are interested in paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or simply freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And then after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, kind of wrapping things up here, guys, this is an absolutely incredible time for jailbreaking. If you have yet to jailbreak, just be sure to check out my channel for numerous guides. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release said guides, or cover other things such as the forthcoming Apple Watch, then just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.